I'm gonna to talk today about being wrong on supernovas. Um, it never feels good to be wrong, but you gotta be honest with yourself, and I like being honest with you, so check this out. What's up, Tim Sykes, Millionaire Mentor and Trader here. Um, I guess this is kind of a confessional, uh, just being real with you. I think it's very important uh, for you as a trader and for me as a teacher, just to be uh, blunt blunt AF, just honest um, about what we do well and what we don't do well. Um, I'm filming this in May 2020, um, already made roughly 200 grand in trading profits on the year, so many plays, but at the same time, while I'm celebrating the plays that went well, I've missed out on a lot of plays. Um, there have been so many supernovas like UAVS, MVIS, MARK, um, that I just was not aggressive enough. CYDY is another one. Um, not aggressive enough, uh, buying on the way up, underestimating it. And I know you might say, well, that's fine. It's good to underestimate. But at the same time, you have to recognize what's working in the markets. Um, I'm going to include another video under this um, just to talk about the pumpers uh, that are in play right now. And it's very important that you know what is the main catalyst for these companies. Yes, they have press releases. Yes, they're in the right sector um, at the right time. Yes, it's a hot market, but there's a specific uh, catalyst and it is because of social media pumping. And I'm not trying to expose it. I'm not trying to stop it. I just want you to be aware of it so that you can you know, trade off of it. Because the beautiful thing about blatant pumping is that it creates predictable patterns. Uh, a lot of newbies believe the pumpers. They believe in the, you know, bare minimum, you know, research. And they think that's why these stocks are spiking. That's why when these stocks crash, people are like, what's going on? The fundamentals are still solid. I hate penny stocks. They're so unpredictable. No, you're looking at the absolute, you know, wrong indicators. That's like trying to judge uh, uh, NFL draft potential uh, in the NFL, how good they are, and you're judging them based on how they scored on their like English SATs. Like it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter how good they did or how bad they did or if they can even read um, on the SATs. Or, like schooling doesn't matter much in the NFL. Um, it's probably, you could probably even come up with a formula that, like the more school you have, like the worse you'll do in the NFL because you'll be too smart and you won't even wanna play in the NFL and you won't hit as hard because you'll be worried about like your brain. Anyways, in pumping, uh, the promoters are using fundamentals and DD, due diligence, um, to spike these stocks. So for me, my problem is that because I know how the game works and because I don't believe in the fundamentals or when they put you know, a 10, 20, 30, 50 times price target on a stock and they're just random screen names, you know, like Purple Dragon 642 says this stock is going to 20 bucks. Or, you know, JFK is still alive, 942, says this stock is worth 50 bucks a share. And I'm like, who, what? These aren't even real people's names. Like, they don't show their real names. They don't show all their trades. But they have power right now. And it's no different than, you know, several years ago with the weed mania. I'm going to include a link uh, to a link to my men's journal article, um, how I exposed a whole group of pumpers when weed stocks were going off. And all of those stocks dropped 90, 95, 100%. So right now, the biggest uh, indicator that's out there is the pumping, the social media pumping, and you can see it. Um, I'm also going to include a link uh, to Stocks to Trade. We have a new tool uh, called the Social Media Search Tool, and you can see uh, these low float stocks, these low price stocks being pumped in real time, and they all coordinate. They're, they're all posting at the exact same time, trying to lure in as many people. A lot of people say, oh, what newsletter should I join? What chat room should I join? You don't need to join anything. They want maximum people following their pumps, so they post openly on stock twits, on Twitter, and all this stuff. And you know, to be fair, stock twits and Twitter are big universes. That's why the Stocks to Trade social media search tool is so cool because it, uh, it basically refines and curates so you can see all of the specific uh, tweets on a specific sector or you know, these low float stocks. You can't search by float on any other website. So that's why this tool is so important. Um, but for me, my confession is that I just underestimated the pumping. I underestimated uh, how effective it would be. So on UAVS, you know, I was buying it when CVS and UPS announced their deal. You know, they're in drone delivery 
CVS is now going to deliver medicine via drones to elders in Florida. That's very useful during this crazy time. UAVS might benefit. They're in the same sector. I bought on that news. I was like, this could be huge for UAVS. And I think I bought it around like 85 cents and maybe sold it at 90 or 95 cents a share. Didn't really pop that much. Two days later, the whole pumper crew uh, was on it and the thing went from basically, uh, you know, I think it, it quadrupled up to three or four dollars a share. Or actually UAVS went, uh, I think, to 492 was the high. I want to say that. Uh, props to Tim Grittani and Jack Aru, two of my challenge students. They shorted into the madness. Um, and UAVS, when they were having a conference call, they, I think like the management resigned. They were supposed to do like a deal with Amazon that fell through. It was one of the worst conference calls ever and the stock dropped immediately from the fours to the ones. Um, so I underestimated it, but I, I, I know how the game works. So that forces me to be conservative, unfortunately. And that's a problem. Um, I need to be more aggressive when there's pumping, when I see stocks going to new highs. This is what Tim Grittani does so well where he's now made over 11 million. He's made over 2 million already in 2020 in just a few months, which is crazy. But he doesn't necessarily believe the hype, but he rides it better. Um, and I need to be more aware of the power that the pumpers have. That's why I did that video. If you, again, if you click just below, um, you can watch that other video. But for me, I'm trying to be more aggressive and I'm making this video to be more in tune. Like, yeah, it's cool that I'm up, you know, I made nearly $200,000 this year, all of the, the trading profits that I trade with go to charity. Um, I'm not in this for trading profits. I want to teach you the process. I trade with a small account. Um, I donated to charity because I want you to understand that I want more successful students. So it's not how much I make in trading profits. It's how much can you make when you learn the process. And right now, like I said, pumpers, pumping vaccine stocks, uh, companies that make masks, uh, you know, drone delivery stocks like UAVS, VISL is another one. Um, M-A-R-K makes the thermal cameras that can uh, track and see like if people have a fever when they're entering a casino or a mall or something. So that's hot. All of these stocks are, you know, in the right general idea business wise, but they're going up two times, three times, five times, 10 times, not because their businesses are blowing up that much, but because the pumping is so blatant. And if you watch that other video, you'll see that I'm very grateful for the promoters but I have to be more aggressive. Like M-A-R-K, I was buying it since the 30, 40 cent a share range. Um, unfortunately, I did not ride it up as much because it just never really held its gains without the pumping. But then the pumping came in, now it's over two bucks a share. As I'm filming this, the reporting earnings are probably gonna bomb like UAVS. It's kind of a buy the rumor, sell the news type situation probably. Um, but I could be wrong on any play. So for me, I need to be more aggressive this is the time to really push it. When the market is hot, when everyone is home for quarantine, the next few months, that might not be the same case. So um, adapt to the market. Leave a comment underneath this video. Say, I will adapt to the market. Uh, sometimes you need to pull back and be more conservative. Sometimes you need to you know, go bigger, like with bigger positions, hold on maybe for longer, maybe hold half your position. I don't have the, the exact formula, but I know that I have not been taking full advantage of a lot of these opportunities. So this is my confession. Let me know if you like these kinds of videos too. Um, a lot of trading is not just about like hot stock picks. It's a lot of mindset in psychology. And that's what I'm trying to help you with. Cheers. Stay safe.